Welcome back to Char and Cody. Today we're going to take you on our explore adventure and what to expect in 2024. We had an amazing time and we're going to show you the best route to take to make the most out of your time. You've got zip lines, you've got water adventure places, so we can't wait to take you on our trip. Let's get into it. When you first get to explore, you're gonna notice that there is a large staircase and down at the bottom, there's gonna be a waiting area. This is the perfect spot to get your sunblock on, put on your water shoes and kind of get prepped and ready, get your backpack in order and ready to be put into a locker. But this is a space where you will wait to get into line and then get your helmet on. We're gonna help hand you the helmets and the keys to your locker. The key straps around your wrist, so it's kind of a neat design and you have that the entire time. From there, you go down this path and I like to call it, you're entering the adventure zone. Yeah. Like it, you start to get the different aesthetics of what Explore is and it's so unique because they do such a great job with the scenery and everything. But it's cool because this is when it hits you and you see this zip line coming through the waterfall. And I remember when I saw that, I was like, I was so excited about that. We got so pumped up. It was incredible. We're like, we're ready. Once you're there, you're like, okay. It's, yeah, it's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. From there, you go into the locker room area and the lockers are a little bit different. They're a little bit smaller than you imagine. And you basically need a smaller backpack. Yeah, I would bring a bag that's no bigger than like a, a grocery bag size, just really small, maybe like an 11 by 11 backpack, and just put like a set of clothes in there, your sunblock, just your bare minimum basics that you'll need for the day. From the locker room, you're gonna head into their main area. They have a board of the different activities that you can go to. They do a stoplight system, and this is where you can tell if a place is busy or not. So if it's red, I recommend you wait on that one. Of course, the first thing that's gonna be red is zip the lines. zip lines. Yep. So don't do the zip lines yet. We did the amphibious vehicles. By doing that, once you're done with that, the zip lines will open up. Just look for anything that's green or yellow to start the day, and then you can come back. You'll maximize your time that way. Amphibious vehicles. So this was the first place that we decided to go and check out. It was really cool. I think the vehicles themselves are a little old and some of them are you know a little, a little crickety. yeah they got they got character they got character that's perfect but they it. work real well and uh, when you get in there charlie took the wheel first i did and you're a daredevil yeah what can i say i <laughs> I had a gun, what is it, gun metal foot? Gun metal gun foot. Gun metal foot. That's <laughs> not the right saying, but we're gonna go with it, you know? <laughs> it was a lot of fun. The paths are really cool. They're, they're windy. There's actually some fun surprises in there. You'll end up getting shot with water like we did. <laughs> Wet already. <laughs> they're like shooting at you. <laughs> Cools you off a little bit. Yeah, no. Re <laughs> that, that's new. <laughs> and I just love that they add stuff like that. It just makes it way more fun, especially if it's hot. Sometimes you'll catch some of the zip liners up top, and that's kind of cool. I think the coolest one, there's like a little bridge with wood slats, and I was kind of concerned about that one. It might just fall through. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but yeah. we made it over. And then there's also another section that goes into this cave area, and sometimes there's water in there, and that's where it gets a lot of fun. Yeah, that was a really neat experience to be able to drive around, especially if you've never driven like ATVs or any off-road vehicles. Yeah. It's a good little introductory, but it's also challenging. So I will say there are some tight squeeze areas you, you gotta go slow. Yeah, go slow. Actually, go slow during those parts, but yeah. you'll do great and it's an absolute blast. The biggest thing to be aware of is that there's actually two different paths to go on. So we were silly, we did the exact same path, but what you're supposed to do is when you're done doing the first trail, get off of your vehicle and there's another area for the other track. And then that way you can experience a completely different area and it's a good time to switch drivers. If you've never done ATVs before, it's a great place to start and it's just so fun. It's Mexico, yeah. it's explore. Can't go wrong. Yeah, you're gonna love it. And now the part that everybody cares about the zip lines. Absolutely. It was the highlight and the best part of the whole Explore Park. It's absolutely incredible. There's so many zip lines to do. They're, they land in water. There's some that just go over the forest and it's just absolutely breathtaking. Such an incredible experience. We yeah. loved it. So we'll walk you so. through a little bit about what we experienced. So I think in total, it was about 45 minutes doing the zip lines. 
And the first thing that you do is you get your harness, get all suited up, they make sure that you're good to go, making sure that safety is in place. And then you walk in and go up some of these towers and you start off your zip lining adventure right there. The first time that you're getting hooked in, it can be a little scary or <laughs> I don't Depending if you like heights or not. Right. <laughs> yeah, but wow, it's just, it's so beautiful. The zip line runs are so long. That's what surprised me the most was how long you're actually on that zip line and you're over this canopy of trees. The whole process, I felt so safe. You do have the option to go together or go separate. So they're really accommodating. Yeah, which is a lot of fun. We actually didn't do the one together, but I no. think both of us, we were just having too much fun. We're like, you stay over there. Right. <laughs> but right. you can do it together if you want to. Share that experience. I wanted to see how fast I could go. Yeah, same. That's We're very competitive. So that's <laughs> I, just kind of in our nature. We should have timed it. We, we should have timed it. We should have. Do sure. it. <laughs> Good time your runs. That's hilarious. Put them on the comments. How yeah. fast did you go? How fast did you go? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had an absolute blast with this. This is It's so beautiful. Just what an experience. Yep. The last zip line of this park is probably one of my favorites. When you first go into the park, this is the waterfall zip line that you see when you first enter in. And that was probably my favorite. You're going through that waterfall, absolute blast. So that's the zip lines, the best feature of the park by far. Just be prepared because it's absolutely amazing. If that's the only thing that you do at an explore, absolutely go do it because it is almost like a once in a lifetime yeah. sort of an experience. So at this point in the day, we were halfway through, it was about one o'clock and we were very hungry. The cafeteria that they have is buffet style and it does not disappoint. They have all types of different food there from pizza to curry to salads, ice cream, you name it, they probably have it. And I'd say it's all pretty good, pretty delicious. The one thing you cannot skip out on is the juice bar. Yeah. It is so good. Right. <laughs> I ended up getting a mango water. He got like an orange water. But yep. There's also, there's so many different flavors. You should just try all of them. Just get a little bit and just try them and then and they're not up. And they're not too sugary either. They're, they're, and they have a bunch of different varieties. So it's amazing. Make sure that you get some of that. Fuel up and then get back out there because there's a few more things to check out. One of my favorite parts was the river swim. You have to do this. It is yes. almost a non-negotiable. It's just such a cool experience. Yep. You're essentially walking through caves with water that's about waist high. It's a little cold, but it's just doable. It's perfect. It feels so good in the heat of Mexico. It's a nice refresher. Oh, it's so nice. My favorite thing was that you're going through and they light it up really well. The ambience of the place, it's really hard to capture on video and it's not as dark as what you're seeing here. It's just such a cool experience to go through a natural cave like that. Yeah, I never even knew that was a thing you could do. So this was incredible to be able to have that as like a cherry on top. They split it up into thirds. So the first third is going through the cave in the water. After that, you come out and you have a little obstacle course to go through. It's nothing crazy or anything, but the fun part is that you get to go down the slide. And I love that. Yeah. I think you screamed a little bit. I <laughs> oh my God. Okay, maybe just a little bit. <laughs> we have to, it's part of the fun, exactly, you know? Exactly, <laughs> you do. There you just, you go back in one last time and you're just taking it all in. It is important to know that when you're going through, it is beautiful, but you do wanna make sure that you've got water shoes because there are some sharp rocks. I think they do a good job to make sure that for the most part, it's really easy to go through, but it's still natural. So wear those water shoes for that protection. Yep. Last but not least is the juice bar. This is a hidden gem that most people don't know about and it is separate from the buffet. This has so many different juices to choose from and I absolutely loved it. I think we both did. We both tried two or three different smoothies that they had and different juices. It's a great way to end your day. Just get a table. There's not a lot of people there. Amazing way just to relax, fuel back up, you know, reflect on how awesome Explore was. <laughs> so that's yeah. kind of what we did. Yeah, it was just a perfect like end cap to, to the trip before you actually pick up your stuff and you yeah. take off. Be sure to go check out the juice bar. 
And that's what you should expect at Explore in 2024. It's an amazing park, probably one of my favorites that I've ever been to. The best zip lining that you're ever gonna do, the vehicles going through the caves and the swimming, it's such a memorable experience. And if you go in that order, I think you maximize the most amount of time. There'll be another video on how we managed to get there on time and back, a little stressful, so we'll make sure that we have those details for you. All in all, Explore is an amazing place. You gotta go check it out. You gotta. 2024, baby, it's your year. There it is. All right. Whoop! <laughs>